Greetings, Prime Models. David Cooley here today. We're doing an arms and legs workout. I've got a couple of sets of dumbbells and I have a loop band to get started. So come on up. We'll start with a warm up, just doing some basic squats. So take the feet wider than the hips and we will squat. Just getting into it. Abs are strong here. I would recommend doing this workout after you do your walk or your jog. If you need a longer warm up, please hit pause at any time to do a longer warm up. And two. And one, and then we're crawling out. So crawl it on out. Hold the plank and really push into the ground. Feel your arms lift you up. Feel your abs lift you up. Feel your legs lift you up too. Hold for three, for two, for one. Walk it back, bending your knees into a deep squat. Then you lift, reach, and bring it down. Two, three, four, and five. Sink it back down. Let's count out for one more plank to this plank. Now either stay here in the high plank or come with me into the side plank. I take heels to one side, lift and I'm pushing out of the ground, reaching up from the ground. Oh, to the other side. Lift, lift, lift. Reach, reach, reach. Bring it back. Let's get a little warmer. Shift the weight forward from mountain climb. So I'm taking knee towards chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now knees across the body. Ten, nine, eight. Feel the breath getting a little quicker, body getting a lot warmer. Three, two, and one. Take it back. Your deep squat up, and then we're ready to go. So I'm going to grab my loop band first, bring it up just above my knees, and I'm taking a set of dumbbells with me. All right, you use whatever weights you have. If you have no weights, that is perfectly fine. You can do this without them. So I take my feet wider than my hips. I'm just going to hold the weights at my side. I press my knees out, and I kind of feed the weights down the outside and up. So a basic squat, but with that, focus on external rotation, a little bit of extra weight added. So I come down and lift most of the way up. As I descend into my squat, my abs are strong. I tip forward slightly. I'm going to keep my spine nice and straight here. That mountain climb took it out of me, I think. I got two, and then I've got one. Let's add a curl and press to it. So down, up, for the press. Down, down, pressing the knees wide. Up, up. Three, four. We did mostly 10 workout, mostly 10 reps. Seven. Eight, the end of this, this next one's 10. I come down, I sit into my squat, and I'm pulsing so I can have the weights curled or just at the sides. I come down deep and I pulse 20. Chest is higher than butt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn it. Keep pressing the knees away. Whew, arms, shoulders, legs. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five is burning. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Now just into your bicep curls. Supinated curls, and we take it. Go left and right. Left, right. So you've got these two favorite limb exercises for squats and your bicep curls. And we just take and we make them a little bit more burning. Two sets through. All right, now I'm gonna start doing both arms at the same time. 10, nine, you adapt, you adapt with your weight. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going back into the same superset. So go back into that wider squat and push the knees out, squeeze the butt. Abs are on, and we go 10, and up, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. It's not a walk in the park. I thought it would be a walk in the park, but it's not. 3, last 2. Here's your last one. Now, add the curl and press. Up, 1, down, 2, 
three, four, ten will be just too much, five, which is just right. The last three, pulse is coming up, two, one more, then all the way down for that squat. Is this low enough? Is this wide enough? What about this? What about here? Yeah? And I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Chest is up. Three, two, one. Whew. Right and left bicep curls. One, whew. two. Love bicep curls. I mean, I think no matter who you are, you want good looking arms. Like we all like to be able to wear singlets with confidence. And really, you don't need good muscles to have confidence. You need something else. And this video does not treat to have confidence. I'm gonna do one more each side, and then I have 10 double arms. Let's go. One, two, three, whoo. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I bring it back. I'm done with my two sets. I'm going to bring the weights down, take the loop band off, and then I'm picking up a lighter set of weights. So these weights are simply two kilo weights. And I'm gonna do a bit of a burnout with my shoulders. So first of all, an archer row. My feet are hip width distance. Side, back, side, back. Very reminiscent of Mac rays. Only I call this archer because the arms are straight. Now, if you don't have really light weight that enable you to do this, swap to soup tins. You know, doing this with just your arms and no weight at the end isn't necessarily easy. You can hold on to anything for weight. Hopefully it won't be breakable though. <laughs> So I've got this nice heat in my shoulders. Now I'm gonna stop, turn to the side, my palms face back. I dip down into a kind of a half squat and then I tip forward a bit more. Then I'm taking straight arms back. So I've got triceps and more back muscles here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it up. Now, try to tap, tap, and you can stand up for that. Just tap them together, tap them together, squeeze them together. Three, two, and one. Now we're coming down to the floor, so careful weights. We're down for tricep push-ups. So we've done this in kind of a, it's a progression, but normally you do this more challenging thing first, then the burn. We've done it in reverse. So you try set push-ups. Knees or toes, hands underneath shoulders. This and this stay in line, and the elbow stays on top of the wrist. So you come forward for that tricep push-up. Now, my hands are apart. I suppose you can do diamond, but try these ones. Oh, we have a 10. One, two, three, four. Lots of weight in your fingertips. Six, seven, eight, two, and one. <sighs> Pick up your heavier set of weights now. Heavier set. So you've got your right leg in front, your left leg behind. We're doing a midfoot lunge with a tricep kickback. So we'll come in, do this little row, kick back, and return. All right, ready for 10. 10. Nine. Really deep. That knee comes towards but doesn't quite overtake your toe. Deep, deep, deep. Here's four. Five. Yeah. Now this is ten per leg. It's gonna take a little while. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. The three reps. Two. 
Getting sweaty in here. Last one. Now all I do is swap sides. So square, heels up at the back, abs are on, come down, row, kick it, take it back, two. Such a challenging exercise. Should look easy from the outside, but from the inside, anything but. Seven, keep pulling the belly in. Three, two, one. Eight. Nine. And here's number ten. Add up, bring the heavy weights down. We're going straight into an active recovery, which is just a forearm plank. We'll be moving to side plank too. So first, normal forearm plank. Oh, get to recover. You can hear I've got that little pat, that little puff. Hopefully you're in the same place as me. Now onto your right elbow. Lift and hold it. Heart rate's already going down. It's definitely doing its job, the active recovery. Don't want it too low. Change sides. Just want it low enough to be able to start afresh with our light weights in two and one. Come on up, grab those light weights. No time to waste. Moving with haste. The archer shoulder burn. Left, right, and back. To those heavy weights, these feel like a treat. Feel like a dream. Dream begins to turn nightmarish. Leaden arms, <sighs> molten shoulders. Yeah. And four, three, two, and one. Then we go into our kickback again, only it's with a straight arm and thumbs ahead this time. So last time we had palms facing back, now palms facing in. So tip into it, straight arm kickback go. Two, three, squeeze the back, squeeze the tries. And ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up, get rid of the light weights, grab your heavy weights. Let's get into those extra. We'll save the push ups for later as a treat for the end. So it's 10. Remember, they are midfoot. So we're coming in, leaning the back leg is straight. So really push the heel away. I go in. 10. 9. Biggest set that we have here in this workout. This is it. 7. 6. I'm counting down. It makes it easier for me. You free count up if you like. Five. Four. I have to sew these down if the weight is heavier, the body's more fatigued. It's three. And two. And last one. Up and over to the other side, it's the same thing. I know your triceps are telling you, but they can't handle any more. Bribe them. Oh, yeah. 10, 9, 8. I'm sewing it right down. I want my form to be good. 3, 2, and 1. Struggle is real. 
struggle is real, last one. Now, weights come down and we finish with those tricep push-ups. Come on down, remember, knees, toes, big breaks if you need, I'm doing 10. On your marks, get set, and go. Three, two, and I'm done with my 10. I'm standing up and I'm grabbing a single heavy weight. All right, here we are at home stretch. One more superset left to do. Hold a heavy weight by the ends of the dumbbell. You can hold it by uh, both hands on the kettlebell, holding it at the center of your chest. We're gonna take right foot ahead and left foot will step back for curtsies. So I go in. Now for these, I'm staying upright. If I start to tip too far forward, I know I need to slap that back foot back a little bit more. I wanna push into my big toe, look what it does to my front knee. Yeah? Inner thighs are working, everything's working. And when I'm down, one. Turn more to you so you can see my curtsy shape. Starting that count again. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides. That seemed pretty easy. Let's get it in. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take your heavy weight. Feel free to grab a second. I'm not going to. I'm just going to take this overhead. 20 tricep overhead press. So I go split stance with the butt tucked under. 20. bicep curls but preacher style. So that means that instead of here, curls are out to the front. These are below my shoulder and I just curl and reach. Two. We've got 20. This is the burn. Nine. Ten. Ten because we're not stopping after this. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Now I'm going to my heavy weights again for some shoulder work. Kind of like a little superset, a little circuit. Upright row is the name. It's an easy one, right? Up one, two for 20. Four, five, strong, six. And 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm putting the weights down, coming down for that active recovery because I feel like I need it now. Didn't need it before. Genie arms, hold it. Pop, one side, lift, reach, love it. Push through the ground, push through the ground. Change. Slow change these old bones. Three, two, and done. All right, I'm coming right back up, grabbing my weight. This is my single weight to go into my curtsies. Right foot in front, left foot behind. Push into your front big toe, your right big toe. Hold it. Let's do it. 10, nine, whoo, eight, as low as you can. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and change. Make sure the feeling's right, the posture's right, the abs on tight. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. And you get close to the ground, three, Two and one. Bring it on in. Whew. Overhead. Tricep press. 20 times. Ready, steady. Take it away. One. Counting down. 
and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I bring that down, grab my light weights. Those preacher curls, this time a little bit different. I'm gonna start my preacher curls, alternating arms down, one, and then I start moving them up. I'll take them up quite high. Just don't hit yourself. You decide how high you go. And burn it down. We are nearing the end of this workout. So I brought it down. I'm not going to bring him down anymore. I'm going to choose a height there. I'm going to keep that height. Maybe about halfway up, halfway down, right here. Pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it. Double arms if you're ready. Try to avoid swinging. Soften your knees if you need to. Ten, nine, a lot more than last time, right? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Grab the heavy weights, upright row, there is no break. Three, two, bring over 20. Five, six, seven, eight, two, one, changing. I like to swap lead legs. That's just my thing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. No shrugging. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, hold it up. Let it go. Bring the weights down. Come onto the ground. Long arms, high plank. One. Last exercise. In fact, I can start from knees. This is one of my favorite ones. It was tough to master, but now that I've got it, I bring my elbows down, then I push into my hands to lift me up. The hands start ahead of your shoulders. Down, up, yeah? You do normal tricep push-up. You could do even a kneeling kickback if you want. This is your last exercise though, so give at least a few of these a try. Coming up into high plank, my feet a little wider than my hips. And I go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, barely touching down, 3, 2, 1, knees in. I know I said that was the last, but I'm lying. Left leg, hydrant and donkey, flat back, and then we will definitely be finished. Hydrant. Donkey, accentuate that kick. Two, three, four. If you have the ankle weights, hey, great. Two leg like now. Six, seven, eight, nine. Here's ten. Now keep it lifted. Ten little pulses. Point the toe for these. And we go. One, two, three. Let's do twenty. Four, six. Moving the goal pose. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Burning glutes. Two, one. Change sides. Hydrant. I'll change sides too. We go. Hydrant. Donkey. Two. Three. Avoid the twisting in the body. Cinch the waist. Squeezing the elbows and center the upper body. Hamstring. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So close, you're doing great. 2, 1, and done. Have a seat. Take your right ankle on top of your left thigh, figure four stretch. Well done, well done indeed. Let's do the other side. If you need a longer stretch, feel free to take it. If you've got more energy and want another workout, Pick one. An abs blitz would be great here, but anything will work. Thank you for joining me today. Well done with arms and legs. Arms and legs. Arms and legs. Arms and legs.